DaVinci Resolve has become the go-to video editor for so many content creators due to the amazing features that it has all for free. But what if you want more? Their studio version offers even more tools than the free version. So what if you want to upgrade? Well, I recently did, and I want to show you how you can do it too. Welcome into this video on upgrading from the free version of DaVinci Resolve to the studio version. My name is Dr. Dan Krinas. I'm the host of the Leader of Learning podcast, and I'm a digital learning coach and a content creator. And I've been using DaVinci Resolve as one of my main video editing platforms for the last couple of years. Recently, I made the switch from the free version to the studio version. I will tell you that at the time of this recording and when I purchased the studio version, it went for $295 US, but I think the investment will be well worth it, especially because you pay for it once and that's it. Plus, any new upgrades to the platform will come automatically with that one-time initial purchase. All right, so I have gone to the website for DaVinci Resolve here at blackmagicdesign.com. It's a very long URL, uh, so I'll go ahead and link it in the description in this video as well. But this is what I see. You scroll down the page a little bit, and you can either download for free their free version, or uh, for the studio version, you can go ahead and click the purchase button. This is the first page I come to, and I can click the PayPal checkout process to go ahead and make a purchase of the studio version. And once I went through the purchasing process, which was very, very quick, two things happened. First, I got an email sent to me with my new DaVinci Resolve Studio uh, activation key code. Uh, and so I can copy and paste that in, I guess, when I actually install the new version. Plus, it put me, it dumped me onto a new page where it gave me my license key or activation key with a few buttons to download DaVinci Resolve Studio for either Mac, Windows, or Linux. I've gone ahead and done that. It did take several minutes to download. Uh, and it downloads as a zip file. So let me go ahead and open that up. There you go. Let me just get rid of the zip folder here. And what you're left with is the installer file now, the package on the Mac where you can go ahead and install the studio version. But first, I'm going to go ahead and uninstall the free version that I've had on my MacBook for a little while now. So I click go and then applications and I'm I find a folder called DaVinci Resolve and when I double click that there is the option to uninstall double click select uninstall and it asks you for your password so I'm gonna go ahead and type that in it would be helpful if I got that right on the first try here's take two there we go Now let's go through the steps to install the studio version. I double click on my installer file and it opens up the install package. Double click install resolve studio. And here we go in the install process we have uh, readme files and instructions and of course this is the stuff that you're really supposed to read carefully. I'm not going to take too much time though going through it click continue here's the license agreement the license agreement does stipulate that this is for one user or one end user however it's important to note that one user can activate DaVinci Resolve Studio two times so on two different devices and that's the point of that activation key or code that they give me in that email and also the pop-up window that showed up after I purchased so I'm going to go ahead and finish the final install here, type in the password one more time, and here we go. Uh, it is now installing onto my MacBook. I do want to point out that I have a MacBook Pro 
M2 Pro chip. And you know, I always debate whether or not to actually do this in real time, just to show you how quickly or not uh, the install process goes. Here, uh, it seems to be, oh, there it goes. So now I, I'm seeing that the install time should take 11 minutes, but it's going quickly, and there you go. It's already down to about two minutes, still going very quickly. Now we're at one minute. So I'm gonna keep this going here in real time. I'm not gonna speed up the video at all because I think this is gonna go pretty quickly. Again, it's gonna depend on uh, the device you have and especially the internet speed or Wi-Fi that you're working with, but that was pretty quick and the installation was successful. So I can close that out and let me close this window too. And I like to just get rid of these files and folders on the desktop here. So I right click. Nope, that was a that was a double click again. Let me just see. All right, I want to make sure before I do that. There's everything. Okay, so we have DaVinci Resolve Studio, of course, and we have the rest of the Black Magic apps and files that come in including Fairlight and uh, again we have the, the raw player and the speed test so I may or may not have had to remove those before but I'm glad I did. Uh, where, where I like to uh, keep my resolve icon down below I just clicked and dragged that down so now I can right click and eject the installer file doesn't seem to want to eject right away. Let me try that again. Uh, oh, there it goes. Okay, and then I'll drag this to the trash. All right, so now we've gotten rid of the free version. We installed the studio version. So let me go ahead and open it up just to make sure and uh, see what it's like to actually claim this version as mine by using my license key or activation key. All right, so now the first window that pops up is asking for an activation key. So I'm gonna go back to my email and copy the Resolve Studio key that they gave me, paste it in, and I'm gonna click activate. And it's spinning and, oh, now I'm verified. So they give me a check mark. They have verified that I have a an activation key and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open it up so there you go DaVinci Resolve Studio